In this video we're going to be looking at long jump run up velocity and how much you lose when you take off and what you can do to avoid speed loss and optimize it as you transfer through the takeoff. On screen now are some statistics from the 2017 World Championships and you can see Luva Mayonga who won the long jump title comes in at a velocity of 10.45 meters a second on his third step out from the board. It then increases to 10.50 meters a second on the second step out and he takes off at 9.91 meters per second. Jarian Lawson, who's a faster jumper, comes in at 10.52 meters a second on the third out, 10.82 on the second out and takes off at 10 meters a second. Now I've had various statistics from my jumpers over the years for age group championships, senior international championships, British championships and so on. Now we're unable to get such precise step by step velocities. We tend to get measurements from 11 to 6 meters and 6 to 1 meters out from the board plus a maximum velocity reading. And these are useful in that you can tell where your jumper's maximum speed is, whether it's too far out from the board and whether they're decelerating too much into the board or whether they're accelerating into the take off. As you can see from the elite athlete statistics, there is a deceleration from step two to one. Now that is inevitable as you're braking on the board to get vertical velocity as well as transfer horizontally across the board. So the faster you are coming into the board, the less velocity you're going to lose at takeoff. You do have what's known as vertical velocity as well, the speed at which your center of mass goes up. And I'll talk more about that in another video. Now, one of my young jumpers, Dimitri, recently jumped seven meters 36, and he, on his better efforts, was accelerating into the takeoff from six meters out to one meter out from the board and he achieved a velocity of 10.13 meters a second. Crucial to optimizing velocity across the final three steps into the takeoff is how you set the jump up. Now I've made plenty of videos on the last three steps, the penultimate for example, and how to drive across those steps and set the jump. So do take a look out for those videos on the channel. Of course, you must do plenty of run-ups in your training. That should be your staple sprint. These should be done to the board so that you can affect a takeoff, but also you should do them on the track where you just run as fast as you can through those final steps, of course, with good technique. The more you learn how to distribute your effort and run as fast as you can, optimally through those steps and across the board, the longer you will ultimately jump. Well, I hope the information provided in this video gives you a greater understanding of horizontal velocity as it affects the long jump and how you can optimize it to optimize your jump distance. As usual, good luck with any competitions you've got coming up and of course your training. Please like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and do share it amongst your fellow athletes and coaches as it all helps the channel's development and growth. And speaking of that, if you'd like to help me help you become a better athlete or coach, then do consider becoming a channel member. For as little as £1.99 a month, $1.99 a month, you can become a channel supporter and do just that. So head over to the channel's homepage, click on the membership button and see what offers are available.